I'm gonna get the one uh, truth out of there. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have mm -hmm. gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Hmm. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. Hmm. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Everything from here will be a lot. you ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Mm. Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. In case. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? All right, so first we're going to use the hydrochloride or the chloral hydrate. So I'm going to be right back. Well, that's going to my pee. I should, I should be back. 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Could hump a few props or sweep the floors. If you All right, so this is a do. lie as well. <laughs> What's the deal with you That's and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. Hmm. I hardly yeah. ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. Yeah. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's hmm. why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean. No, no, they are not. We're gonna use the empty film canister here. Huh. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. <laughs> These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. <laughs> June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. <laughs> Went ape shit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. Mm. Yeah. Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? Enough of the lies. I told you, I get my cut selling dirty movies. Where is the blackmailer? Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. 
June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but Guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? <laughs> That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? <laughs> yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Detectives. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part, happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is gonna get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only gonna warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. I don't think they like your little... Anybody get the bishop before they do? We need to lose those fools, Phelps. Closer, Cole. Make a move. We're sitting ducks here. Shot or get us the hell out of here. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Jesus, Bishop started a goddamn war. Century broadcasting system. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, 
McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! We're trying to help you, Bishop! This is all a big mistake! It's us or McAfee's boys, your choice. I didn't do anything. That's enough. That girl makes it all up. this any harder on yourself, Bishop. $2. Hands in the air, Bishop. Move another inch and you're dead. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. We need, we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me. Last chance to back the hell down. No, not on the ladder. I'm gonna put holes in you, asshole. It's this way. 
McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Kill them for God's sake! I don't want to die! Weapon! LAPD, you're making a big mistake. There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Is this really the best McAfee's got? Come on, it's this way. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Go! Hit him from this distance. Damn, I have a brain. in a war zone. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. That's enough. Those bastards! 
This is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer and all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking into little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. You've developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be oh, able yeah, to hold getting on promoted. Anyway. You're getting promoted. Yeah. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Bukowski, yeah. this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Hmm. Get in. I'm buying. Yeah. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. Hmm. All right. You like a table, Leroy. What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is yeah, Elsa think, singing tonight? I Miss think... Um... Yeah, Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about something. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. I think this is where Cole meets Elsa? He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went mm. through it all. Do you realize mm. what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Yeah, Someone so... Cole Phelps, war hero the and nationals are, fighter They have interests, which is fine. Why would I want to meet another fascist? From They've got some people. nice pieces. Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? <laughs> Don't you ever forget your place with me again. <laughs> do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. 
Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. <laughs> so what about that drink, boys? I guess with that, this has been Dark Kirby 14. We'll see you next time on more L.A. Noir Remastered.